to it. Has anyone ever looked at abnormal CSF flow specifically in hydrocephalus, so non-Chiari patients? So what does that look like? How do you diagnose it? Um, and what's the prognosis, I guess? How, how likely are they to do well after surgery, specifically for hydrocephalus? So a lot of work has been done at Wayne State on this. Um, and particularly when I was uh, there, I remember ongoing studies with um, dogs, sorry, for the dog lovers, but these were um, animal studies uh, looking at CSF uh, flow in hydrocephalus. Um, there's increased flow, increased CSF secretion and absorption in, in um, hydrocephalus. We know that. Um, in, um, and I'm sorry, I, I lost the rest of your question. Sorry. <laughs> um, studying CSF flow and hydrocephalus specifically. Um, and then I guess what's to be done if mm -hmm. it's, how, how do you diagnose if it's abnormal, really? Okay. All right, so there are, there are a variety of ways. So in terms of um, the research that's been done, yes, um, there have been flow studies. Uh, we know that if someone has obstructive hydrocephalus, they have an anatomic blockage of flow, either from a brain tumor or from a stricture at the base of the skull. Chiari can be an example of that. Um, but Chiari patients, if they have that, they usually also have a degree of decreased absorption at the level of the blood circulation. So most of our CSF is absorbed through the venous pathways into our venous channels in the brain the venous sinuses, and then absorbed into the circulation. And that's true of everybody. And um, in hydrocephalus, um, the, the flow is increased, it's turbulent, there's increased production of fluid and decreased absorption. And then there also may be an anatomic block, which is obstructive hydrocephalus. Um, How is it treated, you said? Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> So there are a couple of ways of treating hydrocephalus. Uh, relating specifically to Chiari patients, um, I like to try Diamox first. Usually, um, Diamox for some time uh, will get the person away without permanent diversion, which is a shunt. Um, if Diamox is inadequate, then I will proceed with the placement of a ventricular peritoneal shunt. I have occasionally put in a lumbar shunt in a patient who has already had a Chiari decompression. And I don't really like to do it because of the, you know, the um, issues I mentioned before. But those are people who've already been decompressed. The um, base of the skull is just wide open as far as flow. Um, you know, the tonsils are out of the foramen magnum, out of the spine, and the ventricles are extremely small. They're so small that putting um, a catheter into the brain, into the fluid-filled spaces, which are the ventricles, would almost likely, almost certainly cause the person to have repeated shunt obstructions because there just wouldn't be uh, any fluid in the space. Um, there's a question that, come, that came up, and I'm going to be frank, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to learn something. Uh, <laughs> do you believe a cavum septum Pellucidum should be addressed, or is it an incidental finding, specifically if a child has had several decompression surgeries? It, on the face of it, it's an incidental finding. It's an anatomic variant. However, we have had patients with um, uh, cysts, septum pellucidum, uh, cavum septum pellucidum, and then a septum pellucidum cyst really expanding those walls. And they have benefited either from endoscopic fenestration, uh, which is putting in, you know, um, an endoscope through a burr hole and uh, going into that space and basically opening it up, um, or actually shunting. Okay. Um, and if they've had several decompressions, does that make it more or less likely of a good outcome after that? We have to really determine if the uh, cavum septum pellucidum is causing the problem. Mm. You know, if it's just there and you just have, you know, your two leaves of the septum pellucidum and they happen to be not like this but separated a little bit, then that's probably not doing anything. 
if they're bowed out like this, rounded and large, like there is a system there that is under pressure, then the person will, you know, likely get better with drainage of that. 